फ्रेंड्स टुडे इज वीडियो इज क्लास टू ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल लॉजिक कंट्रोल वायरिंग एंड एज यू नो दैट दिस क्लास ऑफ लॉजिक कंट्रोल वायरिंग इन दिस क्लास वी ड्रॉ सर्किट डायग्राम अकॉर्डिंग टू अ लॉजिक एज यू सॉ इन क्लास वन इन दिस क्लास वी टुक थ्री लॉजिक्स एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दीज लॉजिक्स वी मेड ए सर्किट डायग्राम दिस सर्किट डायग्राम हेयर दिस डिपेंड्स कंप्लीटली ऑन दीज लॉजिक्स नाउ दिस सर्किट डायग्राम हेयर इट इज आज टू मॉडिफाई द सर्किट डायग्राम मोर look what we have to do motor b here to start this motor b any start push button or stop push button is not connected this motor b will start only when motor a starts but here to start this motor we have to do something after this it is told here that motor b here when it gets on then motor a should turn off automatically after 5 minutes it means when this motor is started then this motor here should turn off automatically after 5 minutes friends this circuit diagram here we have to modify this circuit diagram so first of all what we will do this no contact which is connected in series to this remove this from here now this motor here which we have to turn on and off for this we will use push button here i used one stop push button and one start push button through stop push button we will turn off the motor and through start push button we will turn on the motor now this contactor here we have to hold this contactor also so we will make a holding circuit here so i am copying it from here and to this circuit diagram i added this okay so we made the holding circuit here this means to turn on and off motor b circuit is completed now this no contact here we have to add this also in this circuit this no contact was used in which condition before let's understand this also see in second condition here it was told if we start motor a then motor b should start automatically it means that this no contact here we are using this to turn on motor b so what we will do we will connect this no contact in parallel to this so i am connecting this here this motor b here to start and stop this we made the circuit diagram and you can see one more thing here if motor a gets on then in this condition this no contact will become nc due to this power supply flows from here and goes to motor b directly and our motor b will be turned on now after this it is written here if we turn on motor b then in this condition motor a must turn off automatically after 5 minutes time boundation is there so we have to use timer but electrical components we have here among these timer is not there so i am putting a timer here so we have a timer here now this timer we have this timer is of which type we have to decide this also as it is told in the logic after 5 minutes if after 5 minutes is written here then you have to use on delay timer so here we have a on delay timer i am copying this from here and in this circuit diagram i am pasting this here so now we have a timer here now in the conditions here it is asked if we turn on motor b then in this condition motor a should be off what we have to do contactor which is used for motor b power supply which is going to this contactor take this power supply and connect with the timer what will happen is if power supply goes to contactor b then in this condition this timer also gets the power supply what i will do this wire here with this wire connect one more wire and with this timer connect the power supply now to this timer we have to connect neutral power supply also so from here i am connecting neutral power supply to this now this circuit here according to this circuit if we press this push button then contactor b here and to this timer power supply will go to both of these now in this timer here there is nc contact we have to use nc contact to turn off motor a so take this nc contact and in series to motor a connect this advantage of connecting nc contact here is in this timer here when time is completed contact of this changes and when contact is changed then power supply which is flowing from here will break that is when this becomes no contact power supply cannot flow from here and motor a will turn off automatically so all the five logics here we used these logics in this circuit that is we have two motor here both of them has different starter after this it is told here if motor a starts then motor b should start automatically so what we did we used no contact of motor a here what will happen due to this on turning on motor a this contact will become nc and due to this power supply will flow from here and it will turn on motor b so logic number 2 is also completed now in logic number 3 it is told if we turn off motor a 
then in this condition motor B should not get off. So if we even turn off motor A, power supply will still flow from here so motor B is not going to turn off. After this it is asked to make a starter for motor B separately. We already did this. After this it is told motor B here if we turn on this then in this condition motor A should be turned off automatically after 5 minutes. For this we use a timer here. Now this timer here will operate with this contactor. It means on starting motor B countdown of timer will begin and when countdown is completed then NC contact of this hair will change and in this condition motor A will turn off automatically. So friends I am ending this today's class. Friends if you don't know how to read this type of circuit diagram then on clicking this right hand side video you can learn this. After watching this video you will be able to read electrical drawing. Thanks for watching this video.